Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing the second half of last week's um, What Solds. So this would be the weekend of December 3rd through the 5th. Um, it's been an amazing couple of weeks. I hope it has been for all of you also. Um, my sales, I think the last time I looked, it said my sales are up about 37%. Now, I compared my sales from this time last year, and it's about the same. But last year was definitely a unique year, so I still count this as an excellent year for me. I've got e mostly eBay. If you guys are new to my channel, eBay is my major platform. Everything starts on eBay and then I cross list with um, list perfectly to Facebook, Mercari, Etsy. And I also um, have my eBay account connected with Bonanza. That one's relatively easy and it's not a whole lot of work. I think with this reset that we all have been talking about where we ended all of our listings and did sell similar has kind of messed up Bonanza because I haven't seen anything in weeks from there. But that's all right. Um, it's all right, right? Let's go ahead. I, I picked a, a variety of things to share with you, um, but I'm going to be doing, we're planning on leaving Friday to go on a sourcing trip slash vacation to visit Robert's family in Missouri. So um, I'm going to try to get a couple of videos done already so that we can share. But I'm hoping I'm hoping to at least share um, some of the finds that we get while we're in the bins and thrift stores. I don't think I'll be able to record while I'm <laughs> scooping, but I will definitely, um, you know, stand at my cart and show you some of the finds that I have. All right, let's get going. This first item, I like to find these. It's called Warmies. What they are, and there's different brands of these, but you can um, microwave them to warm them up, to soothe, you know, sore, sore kids' sore spots or sore tummies or anything like that. Um, this one was a teeny little purple hippo. It did have its tag and it sold for best offer of $10.75. Um, that was one of those that I know I sent out. A lot of times I send out offers with either like, it's either a whole number um, or it'll be like $10.75 or $10.25 or whatever. Um, somebody did ask me a question um, from the last video about how much percentage I do when I send offers. That one's kind of hard because if I have that like this, this was on sale for eleven sixty six. If I just recently listed it, I'm not going to go down a whole lot. They require a minimum of five percent, so usually I try to be right around there. But I'll take a few extra cents to get it to a number as far as the cents um, where I need it to be. But if I, if I've had it for a while, usually I'll go down a dollar or two and then adjust the cents. Um, I, it just really depends on the item, how many offers. I always open up the listing, look at manage offers, see where I've been, because I don't want to one day send out offers for $10.75 and then the next day send it out for $11. You know, so I try to pay attention to what's the last time I sent, and then I may go down a little bit if I've sent out offers and I'm just not getting any interest. So I did send out an offer on this because this is something I picked up really recently for $10.75 and somebody took it. I'm going to have to go look at my stats again. The last time I looked, it was saying like, um, like half of the things that I'm selling are through the make offers. So I'm going to have to go check that out again and see how it's going. But that's been a couple of months. This next item was a Build-A-Bear sweatshirt with the Georgia Bulldogs symbol on it. Because it was so unique, I just went ahead and listed it separately. 
and it sold for $9.86. Again, I do not offer free shipping, so this is what it sold for, and then the buyer pays additional um, for shipping. I featured this recently. Um, picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid like a dollar for it. And this is Folk Manus, which is a very popular puppets um, brand. These were finger puppets, and they ended up selling for $23.35. I have a little cheat sheet right here. This is Christmas Around the World. I buy these all the time at estate sales and yard sales. Just They seem to be very popular. Some things sell for a little bit, and then I have like this... Um, what is it? Like a incense little Santa Claus figure I've purchased several times and I've sold, I want to say it was like $25 or $30 for it. These I picked up at an estate sale. I bought three or four of them for a dollar each and this sold for $11.66. I just showed you guys on the last what sold that I had sold one of these ornaments on Etsy for $100 and I did sell this one on eBay for $100. So I've sold three of them and I have six more to sell. So they may not, you know, they may not all sell this year, but I'm all about listing Christmas all year long, and it may still sell later in the year or right after Christmas. This is Disney's Lilo and Stitch. Um, very cute. Purple, and then he has like rabbit ears on him or something. But I ended up selling him for $11.66. This is a hand puppet glove plush was an insect. I think I bought a bag of hand puppets and this was in there and it sold for $8.96. This is a canvas back duck plush. It didn't have a tag so I ended up using Google Lens to find out what the brand, breed was. It was canvas back. Um, had some lowball offers on it and then it sold for the $15.25. Odd stuff sells. This next item is a dandy monkey plush. It has the hook and loop hands that you could hang over like a doorknob or whatever. Um, so it's a hanging plush. When I find like monkeys and rabbits and bears like that, um, they tend to not stick around very long. I guess people just like to use them for um, decorating a room. But the monkey sold for $17.95. This is, didn't sell for a whole lot. This is Gund. His name was Scotty and he was a Scottish Terrier plush. It sold for the best offer of $8. But again, I like to pick up most plush that are dog breeds or cat breeds. They tend to do well. This is just one of the examples of clothing that we've been listing. Um, when, when Robert found this, he had already, he did a Google Lens or something and found that this sells really reasonably. I, you know, it's a dog, uh, a sweater with a golden retriever on it. It wasn't extra, extra large. I think the larger the clothes, um, the better they sell. But I ended up selling it for best offer of $25. So definitely watch out for these. I want to see like grandpa sweaters. That's what I kind of think of when I see that. But I know a lot of younger kids are liking these older styles. This is Fitz and Floyd. I pick it up. For the most part, it doesn't get a whole lot of money. Now there's some figures and figurines and play, uh, play sets. Um, buildings and stuff like that that do better but for the most part you know if I'm paying a dollar for it I don't mind picking up I think yeah this sold for eight dollars and ninety six cents I think I sold one on Facebook here recently too this is a snuggle bear I want to say I picked up two of these recently I paid a dollar or two each I want to say a dollar though 
um, definitely different. I had never seen these before. They are from Renews It. I guess that's an air freshener or something, but they're the Snuggle Bears. And this first one I had to um, sold for $17.95. I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid two or three dollars for it. I have purchased this before, so I knew that it was something I wanted to pick up. It's called Sweet Pickles, and it's a preschool program. The plastic container looks like a bus, and then inside were just a whole bunch of cards. Um, and it just gives you ideas, I think, of teaching preschoolers. Um, I was sending out offers on this for like $50 and, oops, let me turn that off. I have a son in boot camp right now. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Um, and he's coming home for the holidays, but he gets to call us on Sundays. So, that's kind of why my phone was on and I forgot about it. I'm hoping he's going to give me a phone call today. But I'm proud of him. So, like I was saying, um, send out a bunch of offers on this. Um, and then, out of the blue, sold for $53.95. That's why I think when you send out these offers... I really think it boosts you in the algorithm. Even if you just do the 5%, I think it's worth it because probably three times out of 10, it sells for the asking price. And then of course, I very seldom get um, counter offers on them, very seldom. They either buy it or they don't. I picked this up at the estate sale that we've been talking about recently. I bought um, a whole bunch of coffee cups. This was on the first day, and then my latest haul was on the day that we went and did the fill a bag. But this is, I want to say, Wachterspach. This cup, there was some that was made in Germany and some that were made in Spain. It seemed to be the Spain ones um, were a little bit better as far as pricing. I had found this one, and I think a gray one. And then I found some others the next day that we went. This coffee cup, though, sold for, uh, I think the same day I listed it, for $22.45. Brass. I talk about it all the time. This was a brass little spaniel dog, five inches tall, heavy, heavy. And it sold for the $26.95. These are the Hallmark Animated Snowmen. I picked up some earlier in the year, and then I picked some at recently at an estate sale. I think I've sold, today I think I sold the last one, and I had probably six or seven of them. Um, this was, this person, let me see if this is the one, yes, this person bought two. They bought this Animated Snowman with the Leaning Christmas Tree, and then they bought the Storytime one. The two orders combined were $43.40. These next two also was another um, person who ordered two. It was kind of like themed because the next two orders are cheap. This one's called Messiah's Messengers. And then it's a little terry cloth one. And then this is Nat and Jules. Um, lamb with a little pink security blanket and the two of them sold together for $21.50. This was a Fisher Price Barney plush, very large, 26 inches, so I had to put him in an oversized box. I order boxes that are 16 by 12 by 8 for my large plush. I use them a lot. Now I paid probably about $1.50 each for them. But it's so well worth just being able to grab a box, put it in, tape it up, and send it on its way. Not have to go. Now, I have a sizable pile of used, like, Amazon boxes and stuff like that. But I prefer just to go grab a brand new box and be done with it. This one did talk and sing, and he sold for $26.95. Again, I think I paid 2 or $3 for him pretty recently. 
I think Robert picked this up at an estate sale. It was a Pac-Man board game. It had all of the little things. It was just missing marbles. There was supposed to be a whole bunch of marbles, but to me, of anything that was missing in that toy, the marbles would be the easiest to replace. I want to say we paid a dollar or two for it, and it sold for $31.45. And this is one of those, um, if you're mailing board games, I take the two priority boxes and telescope them together and ship my board games like that. Now, they just changed the size of those boxes, so now we're actually having to take the smaller box and slit the sides to make it fit in there properly. But just a few more extra minutes. I bought a tote full of Boyd's Bears, and this was one of the reasons why I bought it. It was an angel bear topper, tree topper for Christmas. It took a while. I, it was like I didn't have any interest in it or I got a whole bunch of lowball offers on it because it's been listed probably six months or so. But tis the season, right? It did. It sold for the $22.45. This is just a white bear Christmas 1995. I don't even think I have a brand for it. Just really cute. Probably Commonwealth, but I'm not sure. It just kind of has that vibe about it. And it sold for $15.25. This is a Cartoon Network Scooby-Doo ornament. Picked it up at a thrift store. I want to say it was $2. Um, sold relatively quickly um, for best offer of $12. These are Levi's 560. Um... I only, I wanted to show you, this sold for $28, but I have found I am getting quicker sales and higher dollars for the black jeans. So if you're out and about and you see, especially Levi's, but even Wranglers that are black, go ahead and check the comps because, you know, I seem to be selling them very quickly. It is, we're learning so much about clothes these days. This was Mary Meyer. I think when I showed this, it didn't click with me that this was a teddy bear looking like um, Teddy Roosevelt. But he sold for $13.45. Very cute, though. Look at those glasses. We picked this up um, at a recent estate sale. I paid a dollar for it. I had seen other people talking about redware pottery when you look at the feet on this one let's see where the feet is down here maybe the the pottery the clay is red it was a dachshund it was at the house that i bought a whole bunch of dachshund stuff from couldn't find something exactly like it i thought this one was unique so i went ahead and just at one minute i was going to list it for 14.95 the last second i just went ahead and bumped it up to 19.95 and it sold almost immediately so sometimes you just got to go with your gut this is one of those hanging stocking sacks this one was by union sign 1990. it looks like a cat to me so that's what i put um but it sold for $13.45. This was Krupp's 12 cup glass carafe. Carafe, carafe, yeah, that's how you say it. Um, I tend to buy these, especially if I can get them for a dollar or less, any of these, um, even the Mr. Coffees, especially if they're in the box. This one wasn't in the box, um, but it sold for best offer of $15. This was from my online estate sale buy. I had two or three of these since I've been going through all of those um, lots. This one sold for $13.45. It's just a little, little Caesars finger puppet. So definitely keep your eye out for this type of stuff. This was a Sunbeam Oscar food processor. We've done really well with these older appliances. This one specifically, if you can find the one that's from France, um, it's this model here, 14081. It tends to do better than some of the others that look very similar to it. 
it did sell for $38.66. I want to say we paid two or three dollars for it. I bought a whole bunch of stuff and in it was these Pokemon books and um, handbook. Not worth a whole lot separately, so I decided to make a lot of it, and they sold for $9.86. This is a Walmart bear. I talk about Walmart plush a lot. I like them, especially the older stuff, but I also like Spark Create Imagine, which is a newer stuff from Walmart. Um, this was number... Uh, it's 15 inches. If you notice on the title, it says number two is because I had two of them that were probably just a little bit different. If they're the same, of course, I'll make a quantity of two. But if there's something different about it, then I'll just number them to keep. And then I put a number on the bag so I don't pull the wrong one. This one sold for best offer of $25. This was an Eileen Fisher shirt, sweater, tunic. I think the lady that left me feedback actually called it a tunic. I'm not too keen on all of those words yet. I just haven't figured it out as far as what's a tunic and what's a, you know, a shirt dress or an A dress. I don't know. I just use the words that I hope that's what somebody's going to be looking for. I want to say I bought this at a church sale and it was basically fill a bag for like $5. Um, but I took a best offer on it of $35. So I've learned Eileen Fisher is a good one to look for. These last two on for eBay orders um, are my higher dollar ones. This one I featured um, in a haul. I did a Facebook order for the first time and this was one of the things that caught my attention. I ended up having a My Child doll that I sold for $70 and a Holly Hobby doll that sold for $20 and then this sold for $49.45. I think I paid $15 or $25 plus the shipping. I think I paid $41. So I think I paid $25 for the lot. There were other stuffed animals, but the three main were those three and I've sold all three of them. So definitely keep an eye out for this Knickerbocker Snoopy Lovey. And you'll, anytime you see something that has this design right here, this could be this Knickerbocker thing, but it also could be um, the Play School, I want to say Snuzzles. I think that's the right word. That all of them seem to have this type of flannel design. And then this is Leapfrog Violet. Now, Violet, this one came in a pink and a purple. Now, it's supposed to have a little blanket lovey attached to it, but mine did not have it. If I had had it, it would have sold for a whole lot more. It is musical. Um, it plays like lullaby music and stuff like that. And then you can put it on a timer and it'll turn off after a while and it lights up. I've had it listed for a while. I sent out some offers and somebody bought it for $53.95. So again, definitely encourage you to send out those offers, even at the 5%. All right, these next three, four are Facebook orders, and then I had one Mercari order. Um, I've had one more Etsy, so I'm up to six Etsy orders so far. I love Etsy. I have got to get back to cross-listing again. But this week is going to be crazy busy for us getting ready to um, go on our little vacation. Um, and then one of my sisters is having surgery, so I'll be with her for that. This was just a lot of Bright Start baby toys. A lot of times at consignment sales, I'll buy a bag of stuff for something that's in there. And then this stuff just kind of, I have a box over here that's like all baby stuff. And I'll throw it in there. And then when I get a chance, I make lots like this. This sold for $7. That's a slow. I've had these listed for a long time. But finally, Facebook came through for me. These are like little vintage Christmas ornaments. 
um, and they sold for eight dollars. This is a Build-A-Bear plush. Again, usually I list things for about ten dollars when they're Build-A-Bear. This one must have been a little bit more unique. Um, it did sell for fourteen dollars. And then these Pokemon Pokeballs. I have, I bought a bunch of these at an estate sale for a quarter each. I want to say probably 20 or 25 of them. I'm down to the last few and almost all of them have either sold for like $18 and now I'm doing like $15 on them just to have a few more left. So definitely watch out for the, the vintage Burger King Pokemon stuff. And then this was my Mercari sale. This was one of the trolls from my online estate sale. One of the lots that I won was tons of trolls. Um, I still haven't got all of them listed yet. It's There's just so many and a lot of them. I needed to go ahead and get um, the clothing and stuff cleaned on them. But this one sold for $28 on Mercari. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I've got um, my other one ready to go for what sold last week um, and it's massive last week was crazy and I just feel like the more I show you hopefully you'll start getting this stuff remembered or if you're at a yard sale and you think I remember that from her video let me at least go check comps that's what I'm hoping for and I get comments like that that they saw something that I sold and the next day they went to the thrift store and they saw it. So that that makes me happy that, you know, you guys are, you know, understanding my joy in stuffed animals and the profit that you can make. All right, bye.